Hi everybody, Dan Ullman, Mike Beer. Special coverage of Sunday's $25,000 guaranteed late pick four, 50 cent minimum wager at Lone Star Park. Races seven through 10 featuring the grade three Lone Star Park handicap. It's the third leg of this sequence. It's your DRF.com formulator race of the day. Mike, the sequence kicks off with a very tough yeah, opener. Nice. Race number seven, it's a $10,000 claimer going seven and a half furlongs on the turf. Let's take a look at your ticket maker plays for this first leg three A's for you yeah I, I just I sort of narrowed it down here I, I think all three of the horses I'm using as A's I think they're pretty logical horses in here and I didn't think that the, I personally didn't think they were that easy to separate um, one of them under review the four he's a pretty big price on the morning line but I'd be surprised if he went off at that big of a price in this race I mean he just seems really logical to be in this race. His turf form is very good it makes him really competitive in here um, the morning line favorite moon over Cusco I He's obviously a horse that you're going to use in the pick four. He could easily win. He got a really good trip and ride, and he won last time. But he fits really well in this race. And, and the uh, other horse that I want to use, and I skipped over the seven Cabernet, I'm not going to use him. He can win his unbridled giant, the eight. Um, another horse, he just he just seems really logical to me in this race. Um, Maybe take it a little bit too far away from the pace last time I raced. They didn't go very fast. Yeah, he was front. gathered up early yeah. and taken back to last, and he still came with a decent little kick. That's the eight unbridled giant. As we take a look at my ticket maker plays, I agree with my concerning the four and the six. The four is a big price on the morning line. That horse has hit the board on the turf in seven of his last eight races and got a big fig on the turf when getting a beautiful trip and ride. That race was two starts back. Mike mentioned Moon over Cusco coming off of a, a good trip win at a mile and an eighth, but this is a horse that can get those good trips yeah. because he has tactical speed. My backups are horses that may not be win machines, but uh, these are horses I think that are in sneaky good form. The 1A and the 2, these are horses that need a little bit of pace. Let's get Western and sing it up. Yeah. Sing it up last time out. Really tried to get into it with this overland wide yeah. early move into a slow pace, and he flattened out a bit. I think the slight cutback in distance might work to his advantage. And we're both trying to throw out the number 7 I Cabernet, know. a really cool horse making his 96th life time start at the ripe old age of 12. It's just that he's been getting good trips recently and hasn't been able to parlay them into wins. He's going to take a lot of money in the pick four. If we could get him out and get alive, I think we got a chance at a nice payout. It's a nice horse. To, I, he's the kind of horse I do like to try to beat, especially because he just... His, his most recent races are fine, but he just he's not getting it done after good trips. Maybe he'll get it done this time. I don't know. Maybe it's the kind of horse I should have thrown it as a backup or something. I just kind of wanted to try to beat him. Second leg of this $25,000 guaranteed late pick four at Lone Star Park on Sunday is at a mile on the main track. It's an optional claiming race. Let's take a look at Mike's. Ticket maker plays. You're going three A's. The number one is Freestyler who was a bit aggressively handled entering the backstretch last time. Yeah. He caused a little bit of a chain reaction once he cleared to the lead. Lonesome Wind, who uh, was tracking that duel on yeah. the outside and was steadied a little bit. And the horse that was affected and was uh, still the winner, Dan's yeah. Champion. I mean, Dan's Champion, I had to say, was much the best in that race. I, I agree, it was. He only won it by a nose, but I think he was he was much better than that in that race. And I just think he's the horse to be in here. These three horses are obviously coming out of the same race. But I thought they all ran well. Dan's Champion was best in there, but I thought they all ran well. And I thought they were all pretty logical in here and I just didn't really like the alternatives and I know that there are a couple other horses who look you know they look competitive on paper in particular the two holiday mischief was a horse maybe I should have thrown in um, as at least a backup because I think he can win but I'm sticking with those three horses out of that race taking a look at my ticket maker plays at a very tough time with this race I agree with Mike on the one seven and eight but I also did throw in the two yeah, holiday mischief who chased a very sharp horse at Will Rogers Downs in his last two races he's run well at Lone Star in the past and and just if that race featuring the common horses. The 128 doesn't come back good. I want at least somebody else. A backup, and I might turn this horse into a, a C down the road as King Ptolemy was back with uh, Steve Asmussen. A horse that was beaten last time out in a starter allowance at Will Rogers Downs, but he does have some back class. No, he's got plenty of races on the go back that would make him tough in here. Um, but we'll see what happens. He was one, I could have gone either way with him, but he feels like he'll just take money because of his connections. And that's enough for me to leave him out. I'm way more afraid of the two at a little bit of a price. Race, uh, the third leg of this $25,000 guaranteed pick four is the DRF.com formulator race of the day, the grade three Lone Star Park handicap. Uh, you can find free formulator past performances and its own standalone stakes analysis video on the race of the day event page on DRF.com. Mike, you're singling as we take a look at your ticket maker play. You believe believe it's dancing candy wire to window. No, no single. I have uh, your horse. I mean, there's only one other horse in the race I think who can pull off an upset in this race, and, th and that's the horse that you like, 
uh, Texas Chrome, the five. He's more like, I put him as a B, he's more like a B minus or a C, one of those horses that I'll play one ticket with with my other A horses just in case he happens to pull off an upset, but I think Danza Candy's going to be too tough in here. Switching over to my ticket maker play, looks like a two horse race on paper, Danza Candy, Texas Chrome, the one and the five. We switch to the turf, turf sprinters for the finale of the $25,000 guaranteed late pick four at Lone Star on Sunday, $20,000 maiden sellers, let's throw up Mike's ticket maker play. Here's his final ticket. You're spreading in here. Yeah, I thought this race was pretty tough. And you do have, you know, the three horses um, exiting that, that common race here on April 30th. And I don't know about you, Dan. I didn't love that race. The three, uh, the Asmus horse Italian Candy was the favorite in there. And I know he had a little trouble early in that race, but I don't know. I didn't see a big excuse for him uh, not to run a little bit better than he did. And then I'll use him as a backup along with the first-time starter. Um, hold my gold back, who's got a little bit of turf. The dam, she wasn't much racehorse, the dam, but her second dam was a stakes winner on the grass. So this horse has a little bit of pedigree. I'll throw it in just for that reason. The one horse I'm using out of that April 30th race is Michael's Angel down on the rail. And I'm only using that horse because he's got a lot of speed. Big and speed. I just think he might be able to shake free in this race early. And if he does, he's tough. Last time, he couldn't shake free. He got into a duel with the winner, and he just got tired in the stretch. If he gets loose, maybe he's tough in here. The six, Big Bear Ryan. You know, he's logical. He's never been on the turf before, but he's got some speed and a little bit of pedigree. And uh, the 12 on the outside is dropping way down in class here. And if he can, you know, sort of um, improve for the competition he's facing, then he could be tough in this race. Switching to turf for the first yeah. time, but he's a grandson of King Mambo, a noted right. turf stallion. Here's my uh, final pick four from a ticket maker's standpoint. Uh, that April 30th race didn't really do it for me. I just didn't love any of the alternatives, I whether it was first-time starter, first-time turf horses. I found problems. I just think Italian can't. I mean, but he's been bet in both races. I know. Like he's supposed to be something. He's supposed to be able to win a $20,000 maiden claimer. Like you, I think that the uh, short comment kind of over-exaggerates the yeah, trouble yeah, he yeah. had in that race. But I think Italian Candy is usable. Obedience ran well in his turf debut off a little bit of a layoff. A uh, single cross is the horse I like least coming out of that race, but I will use him as a backup. 3-4-A for me. 5-B in the final leg of the $25,000. Guaranteed late pick four at Lone Star Park. Races 7 through 10. Pretty tough sequence. Approximate post time for race number 7, 539 Central. Best of luck.